Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to disable the GPS on your 350QX uh, in case you're going to fly it indoors in a great space or there's uh, other reasons for it like solar flares, whatever, and you can't get whatever your reason may be that you cannot get a reliable GPS signal I guess some guys with the GoPros, they turn it off to begin with so there's no interference between the GoPro and the GPS and then it's relying on the GPS for its hold and all that and it gets skewed and then they have flyaways etc. So they just disable it to begin with. So whatever your reason is, I'm going to show you how and from the factory it's of course set to on and you're going to need to lock on a GPS before you can fly in stability or safe modes um, before it'll even arm. So if you are flying indoors or in a condition where GPS interference uh, exists uh, based on trees or being indoors, um, we're going to need to turn it off so, we can able, so we're able to actually you know, fly it. Alright, so before I get into disabling and en enabling the GPS function of this quad, I want to show you what the status lo lights look like on the front. Now this right here is with the GPS enabled in safe mode because it's green obviously and it's waiting for a, a GPS signal before it locks on and goes solid. Three quick blinks and a pause. And this is how it looks when the GPS is off. It's a constant uh, flashing light whether you be in safe mode green or stability mode blue. Um, it'll be a constant slow blinking uh, light for your status. What I'm going to show you now is how to disable the GPS. The standard default from the factory is GPS on. So we'll turn the quad on and let it initialize. Transmitter off. And then we're going to take the directional stick right here and put it all the way to the right and then we're going to pull back on the return to home and then we're going to turn the transmitter on and we're going to bind this way hear one beep and once you hear that musical tone we can go ahead and let go of these sticks And you'll see that now we are in GPS off mode. Now at this point, if we were indoors, we'd be able to arm the quad and take off. Like so. So one thing to note is that whatever mode you put it in, the next time you go to power up the quad, it's not going to go back to that default of GPS enabled just because you disconnected the battery. So you've got to remember that part of it. And uh, that's very important because you may have army issues the next time you go out. And so right now it's dis disabled and we're going to re-enable it and I'll show you how to do that. So same thing, you turn your quad on, transmitter off. And then the same thing, we're going to pull back on the return to home. This time the directional is going to go this way to the left and then we're going to turn it on and bind it this way. Same thing. Let go. And you can see now we are in uh, GPS mode and it's trying to find a GPS signal to lock onto. And then it'll turn solid green. So now as you can see we cannot uh, arm the quad because we have not locked onto a GPS signal. So that's just something to keep in mind. It might be useful for uh, certain circumstances. I prefer to fly a GPS on because I like the uh, the hold it does for me uh, not being a most experienced quad flyer. So I like to have it on but if I want to try out the trims or, tear, or adjust the trims um, indoors where there's no wind it might be useful also. So that's something to keep in mind.